Cool, okay, fair enough. Uh, good, so let's feel what these brakes are like. Yeah, come off with a big bang. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah, that's different. I'm gonna do that again just for, yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, so then eventualities um, the speeds we, we were talking about um, what is uh, remind me again of the the difference on our maneuvering and the uh, approach uh, speed just so that I've got that yeah uh, 81 is maximum on the winch but yeah. minimum speeds are 55 really so sure. you want to feel it accelerating and uh, going through 55 before you're allowed yeah. to transition yeah. into the Indeed. Uh, approach yeah 55 to 60 knots definitely not 55 today yeah um 60 knots 60 maybe knots. a bit but somewhere between yeah be fine. 60 ish yeah. yeah okay fine so um as far as eventualities uh in the event i can't keep the wing level i will release immediately um if we have a failure on the winch um i'm gonna lower the nose promptly to my approach angle my recovery angle and uh yes looking for 60 knots minimum as a manoeuvring speed. Yeah, good. Uh, and yes, if we can land straight ahead, then we will. Otherwise, we'll turn to the left and see what kind of circuit we can plan from there. Okay. So, we need to announce ourselves. Uh, we were in K, just copy from K before. We were in, yeah, I was going to say, we were in K if you want to crib. March and. Yeah. That's it. Super, thanks Charles. Okay. Right, control, cool, okay. So, uh, I presume this is Black Link as well, yeah, although like it's written on yeah. the outside. Super, uh, cable on please, Black Link. Closed. Closed. Thank you. Cool, okay. So if you look ahead and note the attitude, that's yeah where it sits on the ground. Yeah, yeah. So can I remember? Okay. That? okay, here you go. So let's see what we get. that on the ground and see what it's like. Okay. Cool. Okay, so there's 50-ish. Yeah. My cushion literally won't let me have that. I've got no idea where the volume is for the vario on this, so... Uh, no, okay. Uh, there's a knob next to it there. I don't know. Work out how to use that. Yeah, okay. To learn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. So let me see what this feels like. Get a feel for those rubber pedals, which is decidedly alien to me at the moment, but I think it's not too bad. It's quiet compared to the K30, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, shall we head up to the other side of the airfield? Yeah, yeah, the certainly. Yeah, we'll go on that side. Not too much rubber there, it's very just kind of toes compared to a big bootful with the. K13. Alright, oh, little wings there. Yeah. Head back down if there is anything under there. Mm -hmm. I've only got a left man to figure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yes. Birdies apart. Yeah. So I don't have a beat, but I can see I've got. Hang on. No, that's not it. 
felt like that might have been the button. I have to investigate what makes a beep on the ground. Okay. So. A little vague hint of something there under the left side. So let's come around here to that. Let's just see. Actually, let me just steepen that up a bit so I can see what it does. I feel like I'm climbing, but I've got nothing to tell me. <laughs> I have to look down to know. No idea what No. I mean, that feels like good things. I'm going to look fast. I'm going to have to have a look at where maybe it's my maybe my cushion's too far forward or something. I'm not sure. sensitive compared on all of the controls compared to the K13. Feels like I'm driving a, a car rather than a bus now. <laughs> okay. Well, I've kind of sort of kept my height in that little bit there. But like I say, without a, without a BP Vario, it's a bit hard to know. So, just sake of uh, the experiment, so we're around a good 100 feet, I feel very comfortable and high there. Makes glass fibery creaky noises as well. Yeah, this one does. This is the newest one we've got in the front right. and it's a bit creaky compared yeah. to the other I just want to make a look, just do a 360 turn to the right here, just so I can get an idea of the rudder again. So I feel like I'm a bit it's quite gusty, isn't it? Yeah, I'm trying to work out whether it's me or... No, I think I it is the, uh, the air. Okay, I just want to try reversing that turn and see what it does. So, it's... Yeah, I need to try and get more... I think on the ground it would stand a bit of looking at where exactly I'm sitting because I feel like I'm in the way of the stick a lot. Right. But that might just be the shape I am and I need to figure out how to sit there. I've ended up sneaking faster. It's gradually made its way up. Okay. It's a bit better. Yeah. Okay. I've kind of just about kept our height there for the moment. But, uh, if you'll pardon me, I just want to do a, a bit of rudder only, just to see what the... Yeah, go ahead. Just so I can get a feel for that. Okay. And then if we're going a bit... Get the speed back on, so if I wanted to trim for my approach speed, for example. Yeah. And then, what does that feel like? Feel the pressure. Just sort of feeling it out. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I would say what I'm going to do is just turn back and begin my uh, downwind in a moment. Um, I'm a little bit close in, so I'm going to have to make a bit of a roundy circle to, to do that. That's fine. No, I, I, in fact I've got a bunch of lift there, hang on. <laughs> okay, fine, right, plan B. <laughs> so, speed for inner thermal? Uh, about 
45 knots. 45, okay. Let me try and get it back there. I keep, uh, I don't know if it's trim or me because it's quiet. It might be because it's quiet and I feel like I'm, feel like I've stopped. The K13 is still making plenty of noise at 50 knots. <laughs> this feels quiet. So I can see I'm in some lift. I just can't hear that I'm in it. Beeping sound now. Yeah. I'm a bit missing out. There's the, the button I press or twiddle. Nothing's doing the volume <laughs> again. So I'm going to have to read the menu. Yeah. Try and get that street back outside a bit. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pretend you haven't sat on your sofa doing that. <laughs> oh, who's that? I didn't see anybody. It's the one beef I do have. Him on down there, passing yeah, underneath I us, perhaps. Yeah. Haven't really seen him down there. No, it's actually one way over there. But well, I, think it was I hope not. He's going right under us there. Decided to use a bit of lift. Looks like he's going home. So we are still making our way down wind, but as we're putting height on, I'm just yeah, no. happy with it. get it to settle comfortably at 45 actually I seem to be always nudging 50 get that straight in a minute It's just the the way the controls are or if there is less kind of adverse or it feels like it doesn't need quite as much rudder as the k13 to be coordinated right i don't know if that's right or wrong or if it's just the fact that my feet are pressing a very different mechanical object if you know what i mean because the k13 yeah. you feel like you're 
it's sort of go-kart style where your your whole leg goes back and forth in the front i know in the back it's the same as this um Yeah, probably needs less rudder, but the rudder in the case one in one is actually quite underpowered. Right. So, okay. It's not a great rudder for it. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. And actually, the faster you fly, the less yeah, the yeah, effects are anyway. Yeah. The yeah. slower you fly, the more pronounced they are. Yeah. Right. I am um, not that anything's telling me, but I'm sinking a bit there, so I'm gonna just recenter that, and I think that might. Be Again, put speed on more than I intended to there. There's a theme. how very useful the, the little beeps are, don't you? Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Trying to do it by feel and occasionally glancing down is a nightmare. Not that I think we're about to challenge it at all, but just talk to me about the uh, airspace here and the the upper limits. Um, um, the upper limit is we've got 4,800 feet above Lasham. Yeah. Uh, so 5,500 feet above sea level. Yeah. So you've got Odium that we're heading towards. At the yeah. Moment. Yeah. Uh, obviously they've got an ATC, mm -hmm. uh, which would be about two and a half nautical miles from the centre line. So. Yeah. And that would be two and a half thousand feet or two thousand feet. Sure. Feet. All right, I'm going to head back upwind a bit. Just see if we can pick up something else up there. Just again for my benefit, I'm going to try and trim myself for a little faster and just see what the trim position looks like. Okay, that's exciting. Let's slow down into that and see if I can come back to it. I was a bit late slowing down to it, but... Want to do a loop? Not going to say no to that, am I? <laughs> Let's head back upwind then. Yeah. We'll do the hassle check as we fly back up. Okay. okay. That's uh, so a height, uh, probably 1500 feet, let's go for a loop, maybe okay. 1800 feet. Right, so we've got uh, just over two. Airframe B&E, 151 knots on Okay, this. yeah. Uh, maximum manoeuvring is uh, uh, 97. Okay. Straps, tight and secure in the front. Yup. And tight and secure in the rear. Yup. Nothing loose. No, no loose articles, no cameras, well your camera, that's well, secure, yeah. yeah. Alright, I'll take control. Okay, you have control. Through on the controls. Yeah. I'm not teaching this, by the way. No, no, part no. Of the syllabus. <laughs> that's absolutely fine. It's it's a sunny day and we have height, yeah. so yeah. Just going to do a couple of clearances, make sure there is no one below me. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah, it's all good to me. Try and dive it down, about 110, 120 knots. Okay. Like, here we go. Mm -hmm. Pulling through. Okay. There we go. Lovely stuff. You have control. Okay, I have control. Excellent, thank you for that. <laughs> Glad the camera isn't facing towards me because I'm pretty <laughs> sure I looked about 20 years older during the feel the uh, feel the G-force on the jowls. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's great. So it was um, 
airport where we were around about 50 over the top in terms of the speed and then uh, yeah, Something like basically that. we dive the glider towards the ground 45 degrees and yep. um, build up about 110 15 knots. Then we pull it level, check on the airspeed, yep. and then we pull it up. Then you get your pull through, through it. Very gently, and then we kind of ease the stick around the top mm -hmm. and then back in. Yeah. Never know, Charles might get another customer at some point for his. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, just, uh, I see one guy hanging out under that one over there. Oh, okay. We're probably not going to make that, but I thought we'll, we'll see what happens on the way. It looks like we're in some ugly sink though, so might be might be game over in a minute. We'll see. I'm a little close in that if I what I have in my head is that if I turn left to then take the downwind leg I'm gonna be in roughly the right place if we continue to sink. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. quite uh, yeah, quite different, isn't it? It uh, yeah, takes a bit of getting bit used to. But so I would, if I was you, just uh, your future flights, aim to get a K21. Yeah, and get yeah. used to it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, that's nice. So it's you probably need about ten or fifteen flights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably half a dozen to actually be converted properly onto it. Uh, yeah. Before they'll send you solo. Sure. K21. Uh, maybe even ten flights. Yeah. Sort of yeah. That's fair enough. No, it's nice. Definite upgrade in the uh, <laughs> in the in all departments, yeah. isn't it? When you lift the canopy, it's on a spring, so you want to hold on to it when you raise it. Okay. So it doesn't spring. So it up. doesn't get away. Yeah. Got you. Okay. 